Now we're down to the bread and butter work of the statistician, developing and testing hypotheses. This is why you enrolled in this class, whether you knew it or not. It is important to put this material that we will be covering in this unit into a broader context. The method by which statistical hypotheses tests are conducted informs how we approach a whole class of questions, from how we devise our criminal justice system to the protocols used to bring a new pharmaceutical to market. Statistical hypothesis testing is part philosophy, part science, and part faith in a system of knowing what we will know. Statistical testing is part of a much broader process known as the scientific method. This method was developed more than two centuries ago as the accepted way that new knowledge could be created. Until then, unfortunately even today, among some, knowledge can be created simply by authority saying something is so, ipso dicta. Superstition and conspiracy theories were accepted uncritically. The scientific method, briefly, states that only by following a careful and specific process can some new assertion be included into the accepted body of knowledge. This process begins with a set of assumptions upon which a theory, sometimes called a model, is built. This theory, if it has any validity, will lead to predictions, what we call hypotheses. It is the role of statisticians to test the hypotheses of various theories to determine if they should be admitted into our understanding of our world. Once admitted, however, these theories may be later discarded if new theories come along that make better predictions. Not long ago, two scientists claimed that they could get more energy out of a process than was put in, four times the energy out as the energy in, and all this in a jar. This caused a tremendous stir for obvious reasons. They were instant celebrities, presented their work to a committee of the Congress, and were offered extravagant sums to bring their research work to private industry and any number of universities. It was not long, less than six weeks passed since the announcement, when their work was subjected to the rigorous tests of the scientific method. Their theory was publicly found to be a failure at the annual meeting of the American Physical Society, the Professional Society of Physicists. No other lab could replicate their findings, which of course seemed preposterous on their face to begin with. Consequently, they have sunk into obscurity and their theory of cold fusion discarded. It may surface again when someone can pass the tests of the hypothesis required by the scientific method. But until then, it is just a curiosity. Many pure frauds have been attempted over time, but most have been found out by applying the process of the scientific method. This discussion is meant to show just where in the process the study of statistics falls. Statistics and statisticians are not in the business of developing theories, but in the business of testing others' theories. Hypotheses come from these theories, based upon an explicit set of assumptions and sound logic. The hypothesis comes first, before any data are gathered. Data do not create hypotheses. They are used to test them. If we bear this in mind as we study this section, the process of forming and testing hypotheses will make some sense. By the time you finish this unit, you will be able to describe hypothesis testing in general and in practice and form relevant hypotheses for testing both a mean of a population and a proportion of a population. You will be able to make adjustments to your testing procedure for a mean because of differences in sample size. You will also understand the two types of errors that can occur in hypothesis testing, the type 1 error and the type 2 error. You will understand the important role played by the type 1 error and how to select the probability of a type 1 error for purposes of hypothesis testing. I promise that by the time you have worked your way through this unit's material, you will see the world through different eyes. Eyes wide open with an appreciation of the process of how those who have come before us have added to what we know and what we believe to be true.